Hey, a happy Thanksgiving, everybody. This is the next edition of the Royal Take, of course, a reaction to a poor performance, one of the only three poor performances where the Royals were kind of outmatched most of the game against a very competitive this season, Trois Riviere Lions, but this was probably their best game of the season and one of the off games for our Reading Royals. Obviously, Ducharme was able to just kind of get in and fight his way in on net there on the first goal, and then... On the second goal, uh, on Nealis, that's one that maybe I would think Usti would want back because he kicked out the rebound uh, right to the opposing player there. But that's the only one that you could say was obviously on the goaltender for, excuse me, having a potential off play there, if you will. But other than that, this game was just a game that the Royals got outmatched in and it happens every now and again obviously you're going to have those games during the course of the season and the key is we have them again tomorrow the trial revere lions so obviously when you have a very off game that your defense doesn't really play well in front of your goaltender because in that game i would say there's only one goal which is the one to neil's that he would want back because that's a rebound that it was a solid first save but obviously not really where you necessarily want to kick out the puck to. So that that's kind of my take on that one. But on the other goals, there's nothing Kirill could have done on those. And Disarm was able to obviously score twice in this one. On Austin Bolt's goal, there's nothing he could have done on that either. But the only good thing in this was the Reading Royals of course, were able to get a goal on a struggling power play, and Jacob Pritchard was able to keep his three-game goal streak going and a point streak that he has going since the main Mariners game that the Royals, that was one of the games, of course, they didn't really show up in one of the only three they haven't shown up in this season and played very well. And so it's been a very good start to the season thus far. Obviously, still second in the division to the Newfoundland Growlers. This was just a very off game, like one of the three we had, like the one to the main Mariners, of course, being one of them. And then, of course, the other one uh, being a game earlier in the season uh, where Redding was able to lose... Um, when it came to uh, Norfolk, and they really got lucky in that game that it even got to um, overtime, like Kirk McDonald talked about. With that game, they really got outplayed. They were just able to match them in scoring. But anyway, this just wasn't a very good game, of course, by our Reading Royals. But you got time, like Big Sean says last night, Took an L, but now I bounce back. Well, he got time to bounce back against his team because he played Trois-Rivière two times in a row again. This is a three-game series this week against them up there in the new Quebec team. And you got to take advantage of it next game and be able to bounce back and turn a bad game into a good game and learn from your mistakes. Of course, Jacob Pritchard continues his great success at a point per game. This year, absolutely killing it. At this point, he could win the MVP if he keeps killing it. So he's absolutely owning it. And then we were able to get the power play going, getting a power play goal. So carry that into next game, but obviously throw everything else out and then just move forward and play a much cleaner, much more effective game where I will be doing a preview, obviously, to that tomorrow as we play the Trois-Rivières Lions yet again at 7 p.m. and then 3 p.m. on Saturday. So everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has been the latest edition of the Royal Take from Sportsman News. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe down below on the easy-to-use subscribe button or on the easy-to-use widget up above, as well as to Flyers Nitty Gritty to get some great Royals, Phantoms, and Flyers, and even Delaware Thunder coverage from the Federal Prospects Hockey League. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody. Peace out.